It means people take me seriously. As soon as you you, you get um, recognised, people like ah, okay, yes, this person, mm -hmm, yes. Whereas the same people that have seen me perform before, it didn't really have any effect. But because you've been given the the glory in a, like, in a, like a, a prize and a, a title and this thing, especially because it's a full year, and it's really interesting that. Um, how people uh, see you, even though you're no different. You know, in, in the day-to-day -day life, I, I got selected by people in the business, and that was nice to be recognized by that. Um, but the people vote, then, you, you know, I, I went social media mad. I don't normally do that, but I just met somebody um, who works in Paris, who works with social, uh, like, social media is his thing, and he works with big artists over there. And he sat down with me and gave me some advice. He wrote down the list of things, when was the right time to do this and that. So, and then I paid somebody to make a video. So I, I invested time and effort and money to, to get that award. It was, because you, know, you have to be a, you know, like social media, it's, you have to be a, 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 an addict. And if you're constantly on there putting new content, that's what gets people. And that's what's unfortunate about, I mean, I'm not very, uh, pro uh, social media. I mean, since since then, I, I do a little bit now and then. I mean, and so, so some of it's forced winning, and some of it's natural. Because when people found out that I've followed my music for a while, they were like, oh, you know, they did it instinctively. But I think there was, so it's hard to know really, you know, if I just sat back and done nothing, then I'd be able to say, all right, yeah, people really did. But I, I really pushed as well, because I wanted to achieve that. Just uh, hearing it. As soon as you hear music, it was something that I had to get uh, close to. My dad was a musician. Uh, so we, we grew up listening to him doing folk songs and uh, you know poems and reading short stories. There was no option. No, no option. It was the, it was the dream to, to just make music, to live off music. Uh, I'm, I've been doing it now, um, I think it's about eight years, nine years? Nine years, wow, nine years. Uh, the first couple of years was tough, and then, you know, you work harder and you understand how to do things. But yeah, there's, there's, no, uh, there's no plan B, no plan B. Music is, uh, that's what's happening. It's the only thing I was good at. In school, everything else was going wrong. I was, uh, I did everything. I was uh, always at he the headmaster's office uh, because I, I did everything to get out of class. Everything. Yeah. I even, we, uh, me and my friend, uh, Jared, uh, Jared Scully, uh, and we stole the key uh, to the, to one of the rooms so we could go and hang, you know, wag off school is what we call it. Uh, we'd wag off school and go and play music in that room. So we were, we wanted to do something. We just didn't want to do those classes, you know, it was simple. Um, I don't know if it's, uh, is it searching? Mm. Is it exploring? Is it just being curious? Is it just allowing yourself not to um, stop a particular style? Or is it maybe, and this is a point, because I'm still figuring it out myself, is it because I want to please? And I, then sometimes, and then the ego, you see this is the problem with the ego, it's like, ah, I hear somebody do that, so I said, I can do that. And then, so there's, there's, so it's a mix of all weird things. It's I'm starting to work with the business now. I've started to, you know, I've got a manager, and if you like, starting to, do that, which is the first time ever. It was all happening at the same time, and I don't know. I, um, I'm so used to being independent that it's, it feels a little strange, and there's growing pains um, working in the business. Uh, I'm giving myself a chance to see if I can do it, um, or if I'll just lose it and uh, get myself a van and go on the road, you know. Uh, there's something beautiful about being free and not having to uh, answer to people but then there's something beautiful in working with people to uh, to get to other places She's gonna get it right, she hopes. 
everything's inspiration, yeah. Um, from, from my little niece uh, having a potty and pooing in front of me. That was a, I did a song called Stinky Poo, and a lot of people love that song. It's crazy. I mean, people ask for it when I'm performing. Uh, quite a lot. Uh, then from life, from you know the inside, love, love is you know everywhere, and love is a big source for most writers. But yeah, it's um, just life, you know, living. There's a lot of um, yeah, there's a lot of inspiration, and I keep on searching. You know, there was uh, as far as lyrics go, you have to really push yourself to uh, get deeper and find words that are interesting that you surprise yourself with, uh, with yeah interesting content and this year I've been uh, surprising myself or last year and uh, the start of this year already just uh, writing differently and seeking different ways you sit down okay you sit down so this is what happens to me uh, the last song that I started writing I just came back home I was in the UK during Christmas and I was doing some street music and just I do that to, you know, try new songs and just, you know, have fun. And I came back and I found this little riff and I was playing it and I started, I didn't even sing. And my brother was in the shower and I was like, mm, what should I do? I'm getting bored of this riff. And he comes in and says, oh man, that's a really great riff. I've got these lyrics, you know, it's like, I was like seeing him excited about it. I was like, mm, all right, maybe I'll give it a go. You know, so I kept on working on it, and you know, after five, ten minutes, I found a melody and a verse, and but it was random lyrics. But then, you know, it was like a picture on a wall. That was because I was looking at a picture of my dad on the wall. He'd passed away, and then, and then from that gathering dust, just like my heart, because the the picture was gathering dust, and my, you know, the heart, you know, isn't in a lot of use, and so it just goes off. So you just you go with the flow, and it's like, okay, this is what's going on. All right, associate things. Most of the time I'm writing songs on my own because I've spent a lot of time on my own. Um, I'm a loner, oh fuck. No, I, no, I, like, I like my own company um, and I like getting lost in music. Plus I've made the choice to live my life in a, in, a, in a way where I spend my time making music. You know, it's been a conscious choice to um, find a way to not live so lavishly and to be able to earn a minimum amount of money and just found a way to to live very simply so I can spend my time writing you know and and getting in falling in love with melodies and searching uh, as far as working with people um, co-writing I like to co-write it's it's nice uh, you get ideas of other people uh, and you have to be open uh, to songwrite with other people Well, the album that's going to come out is uh, six years old <clears throat> this year. It's six years old. I walked away from it. It's called The Lost Album because I, uh, I'd, I'd encountered people or situations that made me see that the people in the business can be pretty dirty. And so my reaction was just to walk away from it. But I, I've come back to it because um, there's just that weight. I have to release it and just get it, let it go. That way it's done. And so I'm now more accepting of sharing. You know, every, every year I'm writing about 30, 20, 20, 30 songs that I'm happy with. So, um, yeah, I'm, yeah, I've got, I've got material, so that's cool. I was 17. Yeah, I was playing bass. And I joined, uh, I, I was at music college and um, uh, somebody gave me a number for a job and I joined the band in six months, uh, for no, two weeks later or three weeks later I was in Thailand uh, playing in a hotel and that's when I got first paid yeah. so I was 17. They pay, they, they pay, you know, the money they collect, they make sure that the venues uh, are getting, you know, a pain to the Suiza and providing 
not only uh, through the radio but also through live performances uh, an income, um, a, a supplement income to actually being paid for the show uh, and selling CDs. Oh, we can.